like uh you can which is funny because uh it's like to give you an audio mark so you can line it up but you have to record audio with the camera too right so you can sync the audio of the camera with your mics with the clap yeah and the last time i muted the audio on the camera so i had to sync it up just by like right trying right. my best anyways but <laughs> i got you yeah what movie are you feeling today total recall yeah with arnold yeah yeah i like it let's throw that on that's an easy one i just the problem with this tv is like like one you can yeah just keep it at one because it's fuck it's la it's i don't know this tv's fucked like is it picking it up no it should be good that's yeah, fine fuck fuck copyrights yeah well let me i should pull up the page there um Fuck copyright laws. Who who even cares about copyright laws? Yeah, we ain't. No one's coming after us. No one's coming after this. I mean, the US, the governments they care about copyright laws. Yeah. So we are starting. We're live. We, We're live yeah, yeah. and in charge. Cheers. Cheers. Number two. Cheers. Cheers. Happy to have you back. Happy to be here. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's your house, so I mean, I'm happy to be here. Yeah. No, this is. Uh, <laughs> This is the pit. We're in the yeah. pit right now. We're in the dungeon. Yeah. We are uh, changing up locations just to keep people awake and interested. That's right. And so people can't DOS us. Yes. We're constant. Next, it's going to be next week. It's going to be in a McDonald's just randomly somewhere. Yeah. Hey, nobody, how's it going? Nobody can swat us. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. How's your neck? Thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I like that the cat is right here, too. I didn't even realize that. And he's just going to stand. He'll probably be there for the whole hour. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, Might do some invasive uh, face crawling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn back just to look for sometimes. Hey, um, Scampy. I think really the way we should start this one off is um, we should raise our raise our beers to the inventor of peeps. Yeah, did he? Uh, yeah, to the one for peeps. One too many peeps. He ate one too many peeps and peeped his way out of the earth. <laughs> kind of what fucks me up though is the fact that a, a girl on my face, a woman, not a girl. Wait, that was real. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were taking. I thought. I swear to God. I thought you sent me that screenshot, and that was like someone online. No. Oh my no. lanta! That was in the wild, dude. Yes. God hey, damn. I, like so, the inventor of peeps changed everyone's life. Someone made a dedicated post to the inventor of peeps. Yeah, like, that's a far reach. I I feel like the peeps is a little too much. Like it's. If you're putting, if I'm doing an RIP post to anyone, it better be someone like the Wiggles or yeah, someone that yeah. like changed my childhood. Someone that's like, been peeps, peeps. You know what peeps did? It gave diabetes, <laughs> diarrhea, and diabetes to uh, the world. Like chubby bunny, maybe. I I don't know. If it's they, like the thing in your Easter basket that you never really were excited that you got. They got hard. Yeah. I I mean I was a I'm a fat kid still, um, but when I was a kid, I would even eat. I'd eat peeps once they got really, like, I mean, I was desperation candy, you know, where you're just, like, you're running low. Yeah, you don't really have anything else to eat, so you're like, fuck it, we'll you do got, this. You, like, you got shitty, no-name brand fucking chocolates, yeah. or, like, just tastes like garbage. Yeah, a rocket sitting in the fucking yeah, jar. Like, just something that's going to hurt your teeth to eat. What was your uh, uh, favorite? Because, I mean, we got Easter coming up, I guess, around the corner. Yeah. I mean, a month from now, I guess. But yeah. what was your favorite, uh, speaking of peeps, f favorite Easter candy? Favorite Easter candy. Had to be, obviously, the, the go-to, the Cadbury cream, cream eggs. eggs. Yeah. I, I, I feel like yeah. that's my, my superior candy. You know what I like? What liked? about yourself? I like the uh, ghetto, like, they're like eggs, but they're painted like real eggs in the house yeah. i think they're malt like malt chocolate yeah. malt yeah. candy but they're eggs and they come in like big raw almost like egg. a malt teaser but like in an egg, egg shell yeah, yeah, in yeah. an egg shell yeah yeah and i it, remember those i swear decent decent fucking trips. i would but you eat so many of them it just rip your roof your yeah open, yeah just do you remember it? the ones that uh it was like the cadbury and it was like a presentation it was like a real egg almost and you'd get it and you'd have to like crack into oh, it yeah, eat yeah, it with yeah. the spoon oh the yolk and it had yeah. like a yolk in yeah, it yeah and it came with a tiny little oh. spoon that you'd fucking just 
pure pure fucking heroin. pure ecstasy it was yeah. like pull it, it was like oh a, my god an edible version of the like finding the ring in the piece of 100%. sand that you dig away like 100 percent. but the problem with those is i'd eat all six of them in like 10 seconds yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just feel like i think it was meant to be enjoyed like one every once in a while oh but... fuck just totally abuse your fucking sugar system yeah fuck were you a hunt family when you were younger like did your mom wake up early on Easter morning and do all the clues and shit? No, we didn't do hunt, but we had really nice baskets. Dude, she's putting her little tail on me like it's like a a scarf. Yeah. Everyone uh that's uh Stampy, the cat named after Bart Simpson's pet elephant. Stampy, and it's just he's, she's playing with me like she's trying to get my attention to pet her more cuz oh, now I started. You're in trouble. I fucked up, dude. I fucked up. Fucking not that, even five minutes in, and I already fucked up. Like, if, if you if you've ever seen any of my sets, uh, that's the cat with herpes. That's the that's the, <laughs> the herpes cat. Yeah, she's a cutie though. Not transmissible to humans. No, I. We're okay. I don't know. I don't know about that. I think I don't know if cat. Are, I don't know if it transfers across, but no, I, it definitely doesn't. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I can't confirm. Uh, I, I can did go- some tests. Uh, yeah, I, I did some science. <laughs> science. Some scientific tests. <laughs> oh fuck yeah! Uh, but God, no, no, not not hunters. We, you were a basket I, family. Just a basket. Interesting. Interesting. My mom would wake up super early and write like. And as an adult, I like when I figured out that was more detrimental to me than Santa was the Easter Bunny. Yeah, because she'd write like full riddles, like oh. Doctor Seuss love, like the the chocolate you seek is where your dad makes it reek. Like that was like an adult one because my dad smokes weed out in the oh. pump house and shit. I thought I'd talk about the toilet. Yeah, <laughs> that could work. When yeah. we were younger, it was the toilet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But now we're like, okay, pump it. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be toilet. But, like, I figured out she spent all the time to write them. And, like, that was definitely a good mm. good, good childhood memory for Easter. Like, That's an A1 mom move. A1 mom move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. That's a fucking Pixar mom move. Like, write letters. Yeah, and she was just hammered. Like drinking Bailey's oh, and caught a one mom move. Yeah, she dude, was hammered. Dude, she would no. She would get drunk at like five a.m. in the morning, get up and write all this That's shit. Part of it. It's all part, part of, it, of it, dude. Tradition. Tradition. Are you guys still hunting? She does it for like my my uh, sister's okay, kid. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. So I I join in. Like, yeah, well, frig. That's awesome. Yeah, that's beautiful. She's definitely given up as she's gotten older. Like, did you guys go to church? Were you churchies? I was. Like, I never, when we were younger, and I had, like, I went to summer camp, or sorry, uh, church camp for, like, a week. Nice. And, dude, I was sold for that week. Like, and the only time I ever went to church was the week I got back from church camp. Fuck. Yeah, and church camp was, did you ever go to church camp? I went to uh, Quinn Malak. Quinn Malak. Where is that? Quinn camp Mal- Connections. Was okay, mine. so <laughs> Quinn Malak is, like, uh, north of the 401 at i want to say it's around like madoc tweed area mm-hmm. i know that's a very uh but it's uh it's a it was a camp what was it, like a christian like a catholic uh, i think well, i remember seeing uh church camp fucking sweaters for quinn Molak. but not like i think we had a girl in my school that went to quinn Molak. yeah we we didn't it wasn't I don't remember God being mentioned a lot. They they hook hooked you in. They would be like, "We're just doing activities," but then there'd be like an hour of prayer. Dude, I got duped so hard yeah. because my two. I think "duped" is the word for it. I well because I had two. I, w- I was best friends with these two uh, twins, Matt and Dan. Yeah, and um, Matt and Dan and I had all saw, and I think it was their parents' idea. Yeah, to go to Quinmalai. Yeah. So, and you're a week away from your family yeah. or whatever, camp out, whatever, you're sleeping in. Anyways, first fucking day, or like going to camp, I find out, oh yeah, they backed out, they're not doing it. Fuck, dude. So you had to go to Bible camp by yourself? By myself. Dude, without cousins or anything? Oh, <laughs> like... It was like kind of a, honestly, a huge, um, you know, like a pivotal moment as yeah. a child. Like, you have to like go make your own I friends and shit. I was a fat shit. kid. Yeah. Like I've said multiple times before. And they, like, didn't tell you. They backed out last second. No, I found out, like, on my way to Quimbledon. In the car. Yeah, by the way, uh, Matt and Dan aren't coming. Yeah. What? They backpack on and out. You're like, what? Like, 
Like, and I'm like, I'm going away to camp and I have nobody here. Yeah. And it was, it was tough because. It was been the most anxiety filled, like 45 minute car oh, ride of your fucking, life. It was like, well, I didn't know what to think. Cause I still was like f- semi interested in what the experience. In God. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know. What the fuck? Because I was born. Yeah. I, I mean, I was full blown. Like I went to yeah. church every Sunday till yeah. I was 18. Really? Yeah. Every that, Sunday. It worked. Maybe not 18. <laughs> Yeah, probably 18. Mom can correct me on that. Damn, one. dude. I'd say like almost every Sunday till I was 18. Like even when you're teenage years and you're getting fucking hammered on Saturday. I swear to God. My mom, after New Year's force one force you. She like woke me up. I was still stunk like boo. I went into God's house yeah. reeking like cigars and fucking yeah. alcohol. Jesus, And it was dude. me, my, and like, you know. God go, was probably proud of that. Like he was like my boy. Took like, a hit. I fuck. I always fall. I always fell asleep in church. Incense makes me fall asleep. Um, was this a like spiritual church? Why were they burning? Did they burn incense all at the church? Time, all the time. This shows you how much I know about church, they, dude. I I've only been there for. He'd like they have this thing. It's like a. What the hell would they call? I guess it's an incense burner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's on like a chain. Oh, the thing they the swing ball, around. And they're like, ch- ch- yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I was yeah. Catholic, so it was like very um, different. It's not like Christian. Like Christian, I've been to a few Christian masses where it's like there's some kid on like some little blonde kid yeah. on a guitar just shredding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that was my my summer camp experience was literally just the one cool like the counselors who do that, they just do it for the stage time 100%. to perform to the kids, dude. Cuz there would be like two hours of every day where we would just be like doing cool shit outside like yeah. fun shit mm. and i was not a, like going to that church for a week though it was almost like i felt like it was uncool to like not like god because they were be all god. those like cool youth pastors oh, and shit fuck. you know what i'm saying so you'd come in and like i got duped by you were saying luke sup buddy like they like what's up bro do you, know, do you know how to throw like a hammer frisbee let me show you and you're like Dude, this guy knows how to throw frisbees. God, rocks. God is cool. God gave him the power to throw that. And you know, and he, they do that. They'd be like, you know how I threw that? Christ. Don't Our even man. say it. I just point up. Our man. Like, Our man. Like, yeah. So every week, I remember it vividly. Like, we'd go in and listen two hours a day. Yeah. Two hours a day. To, and my cousin was one of the singers. Whoa, and nice. why I went to the camp. And I remember them. The whole fucking summer before yeah. being like, it's so much fun. Dude, it's so much fun. We go and we just like, we play Frisbee and we swim and we praise God. And you're like, what was that last part? And they're like, huh? Oh, no. And we swim and then we like, praise God. And you're like, oh, okay. Like the yeah, swimming, swimming and the Frisbee sound yeah. great. Like, and then you get there and you're like, what is this thing we're doing for? T-? You'd sit in a room all together and they just play music at the front of the room and all of the songs sucked i can still remember them to this day our praises arise they're they're hymns as we come to recognize and they'd go so hard yeah just up at the front eyes closed like stampy hit me on the shoulder eyes closed just (laughs) swanging dude and like Wow. I, you know what I'm talking about, per, like the beaded necklace, puka shells with the cross oh, yeah. at the bottom. Oh, cr- oh uh, rosaries. Oh yeah, it yeah, would yeah. fucking and just like coolest haircut at the time. Wow. At the time, I was like, dude, was there any counselors with dreadlocks? Def- most definitely, <laughs> most <laughs> definitely, dude. Oh my god, most with definitely. Dreadlocks. And I was like, dude, God is so cool, dude, so cool. You know who I, I was so. Um, do you know the band P.O.D.? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's who, that's that's what they showed me. They were like, "This is these guys are Christian. These guys are like worshippers of God." I'm like, "All right, cool, and nice, like, dude." I went on a huge kick. Like I was a big fucking P.O.D. P-O-D fan like, for a long time. I'm like, yeah, they love God, dude. They they hooked me with that too because I like hip hop, right? Music. Yeah, and I get there and they go, "Wait, you've never heard of Lecrae?" And I was like. Wait no, and they made me feel uncool for like not knowing this Christian rapper. You hear this fucking sinner? you get Lecrae is legitimately a ra- a Christian rapper Love that it. they tried to be like, dude, cool. He's the cool, and he's good. Like he's a good rapper, but yeah. it's like, it's like it takes you out of it when he's like, and Jesus Christ is my best friend, and you're like, come on, come on, 
Well, interesting just, turn. What a message. An interesting message. Interesting message. Um, when I went to camp, I felt like because I went alone. Yeah. I knew nobody. Like, yeah. and I, I like, I. They're met, so fake, though. They would have made you feel oh, so welcome. Fuck. Like, and the first day too, like I like scoped it. I was like, I don't know a fucking soul yeah. here. And Who get, am I gonna get along with? Well, here? Like, like, and they put me kind. Of, it's so weird, but it's like they put all the fat kids in the same. Like in the same cabin, cabin. yeah. Because and our our fucking our fucking uh, counselor was a fat guy. He's big too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Though he had really nice, like gold yellow eyes. He you remember like, this vividly? Do you think he was like a vampire, like a werewolf type dude, person? He was like, I don't even know how he could have. I thought he was Muslim or something. I don't. Yeah, you were he had, like, like this nice. Is, he just had nice, nice like gold. The skin, most like, beautiful eyes you'd ever see. But he looked like a uh, genie. Yeah, like the shape of like a, a, a surly genie. And anyway, like shaped big at the top, just, and then went yeah, like he yeah, just down. came out of uh, what is that? The lamp. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, and the worst part of it was so we were all <laughs> fat kids. And every morning at camp, they make you do polar plunge. Yeah. So basically, our crew would wake up, and before you go get breakfast, you go run down to the lake. Yeah. And all all the fat kids are all together. Yeah. You could just see it was like the, the t-shirts on, going down, shuffling yeah, down yeah, to the lake. Yeah, t-shirts on. The yeah. sun's not even out yet. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. No, it's all. It's supposed to be hot today. What is, what is, I just want to put on sunscreen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my fuck. god, dude. What a nightmare. What a nightmare, dude. I yeah, I remember that. I remember like being so oh. uncomfortable in front of like the opposite sex. Like I was like oh. I think one of the things why I was so into it at the time is because one of the pastors, his daughter was very nice. attractive and listened to like Alexis on Fire and like oh, Billy She Town. was edgy. Dude, edgy. And I was like, wait, Shit. you can be cool and love God. Like, whoa. You love God. You were trying to finger girls for God. Dude, for God. For the big man up top. Like Fuck. That's what he would have wanted. Or at least that's what the counselor was telling I, all of the girls. <laughs> I honestly wish I never thought about this because this will be fucking uh like uh, this will be a brain fuck for me for the next like week. What? Going through camp. Oh, like, I hate it. Malak. I hated it. Fuck. Is it like traumatic for you? This is gonna be a traumatic. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Just kind of like uh, ah, oh, like whoa, what a weird. Dig it for material. I feel like there's good oh, material. Oh my in god! It. I like lied about like I yeah. I like became someone it was the Dude, worst experience i was like oh life. the bible I, matt 314 of course i turned into the word love like, it like Dude, a I, bible dick i vividly remember this is a true story we're doing confessions i remember we were sitting there doing bible sharing like in the bunk confession and everyone's like time. sitting like what you say? confession time. confession time and you know they're like sitting in the bunks like top bunks their legs are up like that yeah. and shit <laughs> and, and we're all sharing our favorite bible verses oh, right God. and i remember going to the toilet with my Bible, I was like, I'm gonna shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shuffling through, shuffling <laughs> through. And I get to job, which job, yeah, I know now, but I go back and I read like the start of this story. Like, and like, I get first five seconds, I sit down on the bunk and I'm like, okay, so my favorite Bible verse is job. And he goes, You mean Job? Job. <laughs> 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 yeah and i was like oh yeah dude, no totally and then he like oh joe joe right yes no i just been i said odd oh, job i was like odd job <laughs> something in my throat sorry job and then he's like oh. all right what was he, what do you like about it like when it starts because they're all talking discussing and i was like yeah just reading the start of it this is gonna is get it. this is it this is gonna get me out of it and i remember i'm just sitting there and reading it to me and like do you know the story of job off, awful story. Awful story. Pretty much God fucks a guy 8,000 times, and the moral of the story is like, I fucked you all these times, but you but still love me. You still me. love me no you matter what. Have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Always have love in God. Da, 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 da. And he reads oh, this, fuck. and I remember sitting there as a kid and being like, what the fuck? Like, God's wait, a dick. God's a dick. And they were like, no, the moral of the story is like... It yeah no rough rough fucking me- trauma. Why did we talk about Bible camp? We were like talking about church and then yeah, like, and then then I think there was like another ADHD timeline. Of yeah, like, yeah yeah yeah. Like what a fucking I just I don't know. It was a weird weird time. 
Yeah, there was girls. Yeah, we, there was girls. There was girls. But I don't really re- like. I know it's a a Christian. Can I get a beer? It's a Christian. Mm. It's a Christian camp. We should just move them closer. We could just fucking slang. Um, it there was there was broads there, and there were um. Fuck, I I'd hate to say like. It, Maybe there was a dance or something. I can't remember. Oh, definitely like an end of like the summer form, dance. Not a formal, but you know, like you get and all of us fat guys who yeah. like dance and we're like, no, we all dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like it was just depressing. Anyone going dance? And you know. like, like there was one like yeah. lesser fat guy in the group of us that was yeah. like the best shape of all. Of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that wasn't saying much. Who could like run without losing his breath Dude. for a little? Yeah, yeah. And he like flaunted it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. Like he wasn't even. He was swimming with his shirt off, dude. Yeah, he's like, and like, he's still fat. You're still fat, kid. Just athletic, and like, and like, you just have good genes. Trying to like put us down in front of, I remember I fucking chicks and shit, like like, other guys we're trying to hang out with, and like, like basically like chirping us the whole time, and finally like I had had enough about midweek Wednesday, yeah, and uh, we got into the fucking. It was right after polar dip because yeah. he had said something about us being all fatties or something <laughs> yeah and i remember fucking going like yeah i'm fat but i'm also fucking heavier than you and i f- grabbed a fucking pillow off the top bunk yeah. like this and fully like hey while well, he wasn't even looking at me i fucking haymakered him right in the fucking back with the, the pillow on with the pillow you did like, like a rock bop him sock him like a silenced day. punch yeah and, like cl- clonged him down <laughs> onto like the bed frame and we were just in our swimsuits. It was just fucking... You're fucking all wet and slippery, oh. dude. And, like, just smelled like fish. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, dude. Our, what a- our, like, counselor came in. It was this... Oh. It was an incident. They're like, no fighting in the Lord's oh, house. Oh, my God. The Lord bad. would not approve of fighting. The Lord would fucking... Hey, the Lord me. would never pillow punch someone. <laughs> he was such a fucking bitch. Oh, Bro, dude. it was brutal. Yeah, no, I, uh... I vividly remember just being very uncomfortable because everyone like one of the wor- hardest memories I remember because mm-hmm. it was like one kid was uh, just he was like in our bunk didn't want to participate in anything so yeah. he just pretended to be sick the whole week and I swear to God he was just in the room jerking off J-O-X dude because I never oh, I don't oh, remember oh. him being sick but at the end of the like week he had hundreds of tissues beside the side of his bed oh, hundreds i'm really sick <laughs> but when that motherfucker when it came to clean up time he was like too sick to clean up alejandro was his name i still remember oh. it to this day because the lady gaga song at the time don't come and then don't come and alejandro I I and you'd sing it like that to him and he'd go i don't like that i don't like that stop saying it like that the old king of calm dude Fucking king of calm. And at the end, he goes, I'm too sick to clean up. So we had to, like, broom it because you clean up your bunk yeah, at yeah, the end of the week. Yeah, yeah. So we're fucking cleaning up potentially as I've grown older. I'm like, it was probably a bunch of these kids' jizz rags. Like, Whoa. dude, disgusting. As a counselor, I'm like, you're fucked for making us do that. I think, honestly, I was, um, I hadn't even beat off yet when I was at camp. Oh, my fur! I swear to God that my first time I ever beat my dick. Yeah, I swear to fuck, this is how it happened. Yeah, I went home and my we had just got Bell Express you yeah. in the country. Yeah, so I turned on to uh, the Discovery Channel, yeah. and it literally was a documentary about uh, Neanderthals and like oh, yeah. cave people. Some of those old cave titties. I swear to God, I jerked yeah, off yeah. to Harry. <laughs> gorilla woman tits oh dude i'm not judging i've had and those the national geographic jerks like oh when it happened and then when it this the, is what growing up in rural ontario oh, does dude ah, 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 ah. dude then, i remember it coming out when when stuff came out and you're like you're like a scientist you're like what is what this? the hell? like yeah, yeah i i was so fucked up and then i i remember going to school the next day like you guys do that every day? Like, yeah. Like, every day. We're doing it, like, fucking 40 times a fucking day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, I, like I, I did it seven times last dude, Wednesday. What like, a nightmare. My life. Yeah, that was uh, definitely... I got less productive from that point oh, on. Like, just nuking brain cells. Yeah, just nuking them. Like, oh, man. It's totally... You know, and, like, 
I've got a leather bound penis now because of how much beaten off from the amount. I feel like the the I I say that, but then I'm like, no, I just it's still so. so. Do you just watch Arnold Pistol Whip? Absolutely, Pistol Whip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're watching uh, um. Memory Man? No. Total uh, Recall. Total Recall. Yeah, the last time, the last one was uh, the worst movie we could find. This Goblins is like or Trolls. Trolls 2. This is one of the best ones. This is one of the um, better ones, yeah. Would you want to order a pizza or something? We have pizza upstairs if you want some pizza. Do you? It's like, uh, yeah, 100%. Really? Yes. Whole like, uh, uh, it's from uh, Mamma Mia's. Oh, I might go grab a slice. 100%. Okay, Anytime five seconds. Want. Yeah. The microwave, microwave's up there. Mike. Business and like meetings at work and stuff. Just <laughs> rabbit them. And I wear scrubs all day too. Oh fuck! So it's just the easiest waistband. It's just like, <laughs> and I'll be like, oh fuck! What, hey, am, I, what am I doing here? Fuck! Someone poured me to HR. I'd be like, Luke's beating all that. Luke just you know? beats his dick out. Eat, yeah, eat pizza. Like, Greek yogurt tastes just like sour cream. Nah, nah. Sorry, nah. I'm sorry. Nah. nah, it's just like similar. <laughs> Yeah, great part. When Arnold just, is throwing a shot up carcass at a group of people. like a hundred holes in his body. <laughs> Get down. Get the down. Oh, my. Yeah. They just had to put that in. The they stomp st- on his body. Oh. To show how bad of guys they are, they'll step over their dead body. Yeah. Oh, no. Fuck, he's good. Uh, fuck, peeps. I can't believe uh, that's an actual person that you're friends with. Yes, I see some. Cra- I'm gonna start photo- taking photos of shit. Well, that's that's how. I, Cause I and you know what? Like, I don't know. I don't remember any of the details of the story. Yeah. So I'll probably make up most of it. Fact check me. Yeah. I don't care. Yep. Leave it in the comments below. Um, but most of the information, like sixty forty, I want to say like six. Like my brother says, sixty percent of whatever I say is true. The other or. 60 is bullshit. 40% is true. Yeah. Um, thanks, Harry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So one thing I just, a crazy story I read was a at a gas station in Alabama, somebody found a severed penis. And then, the, and then it goes on to kind of tell you like, well, what a weird place to find a severed penis. But it turns out. Uh, some guy got in a really horrific motorcycle accident, and his dick just slid away from his what are you, body. What are the what are the coroners doing? Like yeah. you just oh, that's it. The, Is he missing anything? No, he's good. No, like they didn't. I, I guess though, if you were the paramedic that caught the fact that he didn't have a dick, they'd be like, "Why are you looking at his dick, dude?" Well, yeah. Is that an EMT question? Do you have to yeah. check the guy's dick? dick? Yeah, EMTs comment below if you f- go up to a fatality or a firefighter. Do you have to check a guy's dick? Do you well, see if they're all intact? I mean, I'm <laughs> sure. But, like, how do you... What are you doing? Like, unless it, like... Are you wearing how? assless chaps on a motorcycle? They like, might be. Like, are you... How? Shorts? Shorts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shorts oh. could be... Oh, uh, imagine like it's landed sideways you, and yeah. the chain. How they always say that like dudes on Harleys can break their leg ah! when at, a, at a stoplight. Yeah, yeah, because for tits. leaning. Yeah. That, that, but it's just your cock breaking off. Oh. <gasps> oh. But he's dead, so he's dead. He died? He did die, yeah, yeah. So there's a dead body in the morgue without a dick. Without a dick. So like the morgue guy's like, well, like, like nobody went and looked again. Yeah, yeah. Or like. To find How the dick. How brutal. Like, you're a ghost with no peanut. Yeah. Like no, they put bodies in the morgue naked. So, like, yeah. It would, you why, know. You would just... You, they just assumed that his penis was, like, pulverized into... Like, muck. Yeah, mush. Yeah, into there the must have highway, been a lot like, of... Um, there was probably... And, like, it must have been... A lot of... Get in here! Like... What in the fuck? Yeah. yeah. It, like, just gobbledygook. Do you think he looked like a Ken doll just in the end? Yeah, <laughs> like, just, like, a flat... No, I'd be like a... I've seen a video of like a, I don't think, well, it's like a Ken doll with like a, it'd be like with a red uh, tongue here. Yeah, I'll have a, I'm on the old uh, train here. This is almost over this one. That's okay. Um, uh, but yeah, his dick came off, but I just can't, what bugs me is I just can't believe, you know, they left the site. Seems like a little bad police work there. Dicked. Dicked. The police really 
dicked it. that. They dicked it. <laughs> they dicked it. But can you imagine, like, because I can, I, sorry, I can mentally put myself through like. I've read a lot of true crime where the person mm. like finds a head, finds an arm, finds yeah. a foot, whatever. How would you react to finding a penis? Like, I mean, I don't know. Give me a react a, a, a reactment right now. Okay, so I'm at, of at you a finding gas a dick at a gas station in Alabama. Okay, so I'm getting out of my uh, 2015 Nissan. Bling. Bro. That's you driving over the gas thing. Bing, ding, bing, ding, ding. ding. Get out. I go around like, oh, man, gas is like. Oh, hello, sir. Can I can I fill you up? Yeah, you can fill me up. But uh, why is there a penis on the ground? I At first, I'd be like, is it a toy? Whoa, is that a, is that a novelty item? Honestly, I thought it was a seagull. What the fuck? You seem to know what a dick looks like really well, yeah. sir. What's this about? I guess you are driving a pink Miata. God. I'm, in a, I'm in a pink Mazda Miata. <laughs> you with really it. know what a dick looks There's like. There's a dick here. There's <laughs> a dick right in front of me. Sir, 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 don't touch it, please. Please don't touch it. It'd be like someone dropped a hot dog. Yeah, like you would, it would just Ooh. be a red, mushy thing oh. on the ground. Like, And where was it, it found at the gas station? Like, I. It must have just... Imagine you could just see it like whipping through the air, just hits the brick wall. like that. <laughs> and it's like, whoosh, and then just like kind of like slowly, like like a dildo sticking to a wall, yeah, but just, it's a real. T- and then like just slop, flops like, off. Do you know the video online of the tire flying through the gas pump? Oh, it, the guy gets hit. Yeah, it hits the guy. That, oh, but a dick, big just, giant dick. Just, <laughs> imagine someone just like you, you didn't like it. It didn't get found later, but like as, as the crash happened, yeah, and it just hit like the yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, your your husband was not killed by the impact. Ugh. He was killed by the eight inch penis that flew through the glass was after it, the impact. Was it just a giant black cock? If it was a white guy's penis, it would have lived. He would have miraculously he lived somehow. Yeah. He's got a broken neck, but he'll be fine. <laughs> he'll be fine. He'll make it through. He'll walk again. <laughs> yeah. How did you lose your ability to walk? Penis. Stick to the face, dude. They're like glory hole? No, bike accident. <laughs> like, But at terminal velocity, like, I mean, that guy might have been flying at How like, fast do you think a penis could fly at terminal velocity? What's a terminal? 100 mile an hour. D- how much damage do you think a 100 mile an hour dick going in the air meeting a my, 100 mile an hour car? 100 mile an hour my dick? Not much. <laughs> yeah, no, my dick is a fly. You'd be like if a mosquito hit you in the <laughs> mouth. You're just. Oh. <laughs> like taking a tennis ball in the face at. <laughs> normal toddler throw yeah yeah. as we mentioned last time we're comedians and uh someone posted into like the community form uh looking for a community yes yeah yeah yeah. and a bunch of people were tagging uh patty boy (laughs) we we were getting some tags we got some tags got some tags which was nice but uh i'd say the uh, so even we're like we've made a name cool we're trying our best People, yeah. would, people will recommend us. We got some likes, but you know who got the most likes? Because we're in a very small conservative town. Like five comments were hire Justin Trudeau. He's the biggest comedian. Like big Joe. Five, five, oh, oh. Co- and every one of them, 10, 15 likes, dude. None of us got more than like three. He's a real clown. Yeah, <laughs> re- he's the real clown. And I'm like, maybe Justin is going to steal dude. our gig here, dude. Like, I, I can't handle it. I can't handle politics shit like that. Like, both a left or a right. Like, if you're too far on both either dumb. way. It's all dumb. 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 It's all dumb. dumb. Politics is all dumb. Fuck. Just me. have a good time. Let's talk I about work. I, well, I don't work with guys, but like, guys at, that I used to work that I work with, they'll post every day yeah it's like like very open like i feel bad enough posting about like something that i'm passionate about because i'm like i'm inconveniencing the person who's reading this but these people are confident and just like everyone wants to see this fuck trudeau i'm gonna yeah i'll get i'll get right oh speaking of proud to be a canadian totally off add yeah uh guess who buddy at work saw on his trip to vegas at the airport Brian Adams. Brian fucking Adams. Shut dude. up. How do you look? Brian, good, dude. Said said hello to him and everything. No, Brian, he didn't. He did. Brian was a good guy. He said hello back, dude. Fuck. Shout out to Steve from work. He told me about that today. Shit. Also told me, crazy story. Do you want to hear? We were off yeah, topic of from the Trudeau. Okay. I don't care. Fuck so, Trudeau. Fuck, <laughs> fuck Trudeau. Fuck, fuck him. him. Fuck that guy. We'll cut him off. I just cut a whole 10-minute clip of just us. Fuck Trudeau. Yeah, <laughs> sick. So, 
But he goes, uh, he went to Vegas for a week. Yeah. A uh, guy I work with. He's in the airport and uh, his plane gets delayed. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Brutal. he's like, they're like, oh, fuck, okay. But then they're like, okay, just normal delay. They're all sitting on the plane. And then the airport announces, they're like, everybody off the plane. Oh, fuck. And he's like, uh, okay, all right. They get off the plane and then police, the local sheriff's department. Everyone. FBI, the air marshals, they fucking pile into this plane. And no way. Yeah, yeah, and he's like, oh, my God. They rip these two old bitches off of uh, the plane. Like, they're genuinely old Filipino ladies who are just, like, fucking having a good time on the plane, and they're, like, so confused. They're like, what is happening? Like, so they sit, like, have some drinks, blah, 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 go for a smoke. And then after the fact, he went and talked to one of the guys who's dealing with it. And yeah. apparently they had to cancel the plane Fuck. because these people were doing it. But these old girls got ripped off the plane because they were fucking drinking in the airport before and were hammered and were just requesting drink after drink after drink on the plane. And the stewardess goes... No, I have to cut you off. So this old, this well, boss wild, ass, at wild, yeah. This boss ass old lady reaches into her carry on, a duty free wine that she bought, cracks it and starts pouring them drinks. Fuck yeah! And apparently, though, if you open duty free wine on a plane, it's a federal offense. A crime. It's a crime, dude. Is it because it's there's no tax or no? I'm not smart enough to answer. I don't know. I know. All yeah. I know is he. This bitch got ripped off the plane. They had a vendetta against her. They definitely did a like. We're gonna make an just example. Just let her out of drink. This. She's an old Filipino, dude. Like, she's just how enjoying bad can her she life. Be? She's just enjoying she her just life. She wants to have fun, dude. She just wants to have a little bit of fun on a plane. Drink some wine. Filipino girls just want to have fun. Yeah, Filipino girls just want to have fun. Can you imagine getting like Man. tackled by a six foot eight air marshal because you were just drinking rosé with your girls? Fuck those air marshals. Fuck those air marshals. Dude, I'm on their side. Yeah, fuck the... Yeah. Like, I'm on the girl's side yeah, in this Filipinos. story. Yeah, Filipinos. I'm, I'm on their side in this I love story. Filipinos. I love them, dude. I love them. I love... I love them. Philippines. The Philippines is where they're from. Yes. Philipp and they speak... You know what they speak in the Philippines? Tagalog. Tagalog. Tagalog? Yeah, it's um, a mixture of a Asian descent language mixed with... Spanish. Really? Yes, because there was a, a Spanish occupation of the Philippines. And there was a lot of uh, intermingling of the two. So they just combined the languages? Combined two languages. Tagalog. Tagalog. One of my, shout out one of my best boys, Kevin, who is, I know, a legit Filipino. Well, he's half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's, I, he's Filipino. Yeah, he gave you all this information. Yeah, Dude, fucking right. That's interesting. I've, eat, just... I've eaten more. I've had, like, real Filipino food. Yeah. Like... I don't know. Filipinos comment in the comments, but they have these fucking little sausages. Yeah. They're about the size of my penis. That big. <laughs> yeah. yeah just... um, a little bit wider. They're like this. Yeah. That's some girth. <laughs> they're red, 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 red. Like um, like the color of that. Yeah. And uh, they're sweet. Very, very, very yeah. sweet. Knock your socks off. Dude. Yeah. Sweet. I think sweet and spicy. Yeah. Yeah, good combination. Anyways, yeah, Filipinos rule. And this is all homemade Filipino food that you're getting, like. Uh, I got it. I think they got it from uh, Toronto, like one of the. Uh, okay, they brought Ottawa. it in. Like, you ever been to TNT in Ottawa? Yes. It's like that. It's like a store like that down in Toronto. I don't think it, it might be called okay. TNT down there. I don't know. Yeah, but they got all the 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 whole Orient in yeah. the store. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. I like that. I love it. You, I like that. Hey, see, uh, like I said, I'm on these girls' side. We're Team Filipino. Team Filipino, dude. Old Filipino bitches. Love it. Yeah. They just want to enjoy their wine on a plane. These air marshals are going to rip them off. Dude, fuck them. Forget. I, sh I don't want to call them bitches. Old Filipino women. women. Ladies. Women. Old Filipino women, dude. Because they were just trying to do their right as a woman on a plane. She yeah. paid for that ticket. She bought that wine. Yeah, fuck them, dude. And they're just gonna make an example. You're coming from Vegas, like what do they yeah. expect? Like, you're, oh, you've been drunk for eight days, and then they're like the, sober it up. Comes like, with the territory, dude, fuck. We should they we pump should oxygen in? We a hundred percent. I would go. Vegas. My dad said you only got to go for three days. Yes, you can't do a week. Just three days. Everyone says you will not survive a week. And like, and then I have a buddy named Mike who is like, you just go to the casino, 
and they just give you drinks. Yeah, it's I don't. Free. And as long I, as you uh, gamble a little bit, like, yeah. Here's twenty bucks. In yeah, bring a grand down. <laughs> maybe lose it all in the first day. Like, or we all put our. You know what you do? Everyone you're with, yeah, puts a grand down on fucking red or whatever. Yeah, red black jacket black, or or a. It's either going to be the best trip or the worst or trip. roulette. <laughs> yeah, I, everyone puts a grand down. Yeah, burner grand. Yeah, and that that doubles. Like say say it's like. Us and our wives and a, another group of friends or whatever, yeah. like six of us. Yeah. That six grand becomes 12 grand. Yeah. But 12. then if we just lose it, we just lost so much money. And 12 grand. And literally Vegas. our first, we just get to Vegas and we we're like, hate each other. Hate ourselves. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All week. Your girl's like, yo, I kind of want to get a glass of wine with it. You're like, you always with the wine. Can't like, we just have water? <laughs> Yeah, I'll take four waters. Oh, this, this steak restaurant. Yeah, it does look yeah. nice. Oh, is that a McDonald's? I'm feeling McDonald's. Fuck. Is there any fucking... I need to donate blood while I'm down yeah, here yeah. for some extra yeah. money. <laughs> Where, yeah. Is there any uh, plasma stores yeah. around here? Plasma for money. Really? Oh, fuck. Can we bleep that out? Yes. Yeah. No one wants my plasma. No, I don't know. Makes you slower. I don't know. It would be one of those they like accept it and they're like they give you the cookies in the end. They're like, thank you for donating. And then they just throw it right out. Yeah, they have one of those like pop top guy. Just Just (laughs) pause it that there. (laughs) Yeah. No, I uh, they they accepted my blood. That kid's got back to tertiary. Tertiary syphilis, dude. The child has it. Every movie. I think this is like big tertiary syphilis is trying to get through to us. Whoa, fuck. God damn, dude. A lot, I, of, a lot of ass. Look at fucking uh, Arnold's pants are really tucked up his ass. Yeah, he, he they're up to his nipples in Total Recall, which yeah. is, I guess, part. why does he look so well-dressed in the future? Like, he, like, went for the dad, the jingle all the way outfit. Yeah. I, I don't know. You can come check. Yeah, you can come check. Okay. What what is the smell of hangover exactly? Like beer, but not like a fresh beer, like an old, old beer. beer. Yeah, I think that's just the smell of Bud Light. <laughs> yeah, that could be right. It's just terrible beer. Three tits, Chrissy. Three tits. Three tits. Woo! Give Woo! it up. He grabbed the middle tit. Woo! That he grabbed grab- the middle one. What a freak. He- you would go. I would go for the sides too. You don't go for the middle. I don't yeah, think, what, the bookends. Yeah. <laughs> the old bookends. Good one. Okay. God damn, she says a fucking oh. killer line and just leaves, dude. There, there's her whole podcast. That's right our there. podcast. Right, that's right it. There's that's the name laugh. of it right there. Bookends. The old bookends. Yeah. Oh. God, thing that's catching me about the whole global warming was the is the cold snaps we get. Just instant. As minus thirty four. It was minus thirty four the other day. As nice as the weather gets, that's how bad the weather's oh, gonna get. Plus six today. Yeah, that's the whole confusing part about global warming. That's forty degrees temperature difference. Yeah. In one day. One day. If your body was doing that, think about that. If you're going that high temperatures in your own body, you'd be dead. Canadian no but Canadian yeah, Canadians are tardigrades. For what? Tardigrades. They're the uh, fucking. They're like. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's a politically correct term. They're tardigrade. Yeah, <laughs> they're tards. <laughs> no, we're tards because tardigrades are like a microscopic organism. Yeah. That look like teddy bears. They look like bears. Yeah. Literally, look like a bear, but yeah. they're like under a microscope. Yeah. And they can live in the vacuum of space, mm-hmm. no oxygen. They can live in like. They live on like asteroids and shit. In a volcano, yeah, live on a volcano. Really, they can live in fr- like the Arctic tundra. They're called a tardigrades. Extremophile. Uh, that's like. I don't uh, think that's a way to say like a, over that. A pedophile is like <laughs> extreme up, pedophile. He like riding his like mountain bike off jumps and stuff, trying to hit pick up kids, <laughs> winking at kids in the air. <laughs> Tail whip. I'm an extreme of <laughs> Tail whips it. Are you a pedophile? No, I'm an extreme. I'm an extreme of I'm grabbing my dick again. And now that I've <laughs> smoked weed and I'm talking about pedophiles, I'm grabbing my penis more. So it's a little disconcerting. <laughs> I don't know what I'm the like, correlation is. Like, yeah, you want to ride my bike? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. So tardigrades are like a. <laughs> I think they're called. 
an extremophile, but they can live in all kinds of temp. And that's maybe it's like um, uh, the Joe Rogan guy. It's yeah. Like, like we're doing ice baths. Yeah. But like every day. Yeah. We just go out yeah, every morning and reset our system. Oh. Like to unscrape your car. Yeah. Where that's our like resetting our system. Yeah. David Goggins is like yelling in my ear when I'm scraping the car. Like, get up, you little bitch. You gonna like, quit? You gonna, gonna quit? quit? Huh? Your hands cold, little bitch? You think I quit when I joined the Navy SEALs? When I was killing people in Iraq, you think I didn't want to quit? Fuck, David Goggins would be cool. Yeah, yeah, dude. I wish I was him. I honestly, like, I think that I have, I think we all have David Goggins in us. He's just figured, I mean, there's got, but like. My David know, Goggins is a little. I don't know if I want to be. I mean, I do. I want to be, definitely want to no. be in better shape. Don't yeah. tell me wrong. Don't fucking, I want to be in great shape. Yeah. Do I want to be David Goggins? No. No, I can't. Did I wish that I like wasn't Fuck. nauseous three out of seven days of the week? Yeah. Do you think they're like, like, I'd like to talk to him about like, what's the worst part about being, of being David, David Goggins? Goggins? Other than like. You know what I mean? Like how? Like I mean, what? I don't that? think he like. I don't think he's happy, and I think that's the point. I think that's his brand. Like it's okay to be angry and sad all the time. Like struggle, yeah. Like struggle. That's it. Struggle makes you stronger. But then, like, what? When's the plateau? When is enough struggle, David? We're gonna call David Goggins right now. Let's yeah, this is us <laughs> reaching up. To, what would you say to David Goggins right now if he if you were trying to talk to him one on one to like get him to open up to you about like. Mr. Goggins, this is uh, uh, Patrick Hellier from Piss Riffin. I'm just uh, calling, and I'd just like to open. I'd like you to open up about something, and uh, I want to know um, what's your weakness. What's the what's the shitty part about being the gog? My only weakness right now is this motherfucker <laughs> calling me on the phone, wasting my time. Why aren't you waking up and running 30 miles a day? You call me at 5.30, I was up at 5 o'clock. Dude, I'm on my run right now. I'm good. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that guy's fucking would you, would you, what, But you think if you were trying to reach him, you called him Mr. Goggins out of the gate. That's too formal. I don't know him well enough. True. If you came out with David, he'd and be he's like, why are you calling than me? David? He's yeah, older yeah. than me. So I have You're to be being like, respectful. I have to be like, it's a neighbor I haven't met yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 100%. Oh, hey. You're opening yeah. up to him. So like, <clears throat> miss this or like a teacher or yeah. like someone. I think it's a respect thing when they're older. I, I wouldn't want to be called Mr. Hellier. Yeah, no. The When you know, when you start getting that, you know. Dude, yeah. my buddy at work, he just turned, uh, speaking of like growing old and stuff, um, he just turned 40, okay? Just 40. Yeah. And it was like overnight. He turned 40, and then all of a sudden, his hair like went this, like gray. And like he went full gray fuck. overnight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he looked like, to me, it looks younger than me. Yeah. But gray. Anyways, so we usually get it coffee. comes fast. Yeah, it just boom. We usually get coffee in the morning before work, and he went in and got coffee, and uh, he comes and he goes, Fuck, I paid for my coffee and uh, large coffee cost me a dollar sixty seven. And he goes, I thought that was pretty cheap, so I looked at my receipt. Young like high school girl yeah. gave him the senior discount. Ha 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 forty. Dude, what a way to fuck up your day. Oh, that's why and a Monday. It yeah. was our, it was Yeah, our what Monday. a way to uh, that bitch she thought she was doing oh. nice, but like nah, you ruined that guy's week. Fuck. He's like, gonna I mean, go home and yell at his wife because you Get like, dude, I know already a kick because that's your 40th birthday. Yeah, I remember when my dad turned 40. Yeah, um, I kind of remember when my dad fuck. turned 40. My parents had me when they were like 38, so I was like three. Yeah, <laughs> you got all well, all your parents are probably around my parents' age then, I guess. Hey, like, yeah, 60. Oh, we, we won't even say it. Like, your mom's like what, 24? My mom's a crisp, no, 23, actually. 23 and your yeah. dad is, Everyone uh, thinks she's 24. Cause, 32? Yeah. My- you hear the conspiracy, but that the lottery was only invented to catch uh, time travelers? No. That was, that's a fucking legit. That's a real conspiracy that's out there? <sighs> what a great story, though, that would be. What a great, that's a smart idea. Like, if you were, like, the men in black and you're trying to catch them, Obviously, it's a time crime. What's the top? If you asked every single person in the world, what's the top five things you do? Money. If you go back, I'm I'm saying 
75 percent of people are gonna go kill hitler yeah and go win the lottery go win the lottery yeah dude 100 percent. it's is it the time travelers or kitty what do you think scampi ask her you can weigh in on that you want to weigh in there we go nice okay. dude all right you just lay it. hot feet. canada's most eligible bachelor this 18 year old girl straight dude. out the gate you First know, ticket, bought it like, ha ha. Yeah, fun. It ha was, ha. It wasn't even a. It was. Look at this. It She's was, not like like. Dude, come on. I think we're gonna have a request for more cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a, a lot. Lots of pussy. I love her though. Um, um, more, but like really, like think of all the think of all the people. This is gonna get dark for a sec, but think of all the people who are like buying a lottery ticket with their last five dollars, and they're it. praying. I've done it, and they're praying. I need this. I need this. I need, I need this right now, please. Oh. Please, God, just give me this right now, please, please, please. Dude, I did that with a scratch card and won like it, 40 bucks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, it's worked for me, too. my life. You having a rough day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 40 bucks, dude, broke me out of the gutter. Fuck, I made it. <laughs> but think of all the people doing that, and then this 18-year-old bitch is just like, for fun. No problem. Hee <laughs> Let's see what happens. 40. One ticket. <laughs> Do I get Encore? What's Encore? Yeah, what? what? <laughs> Yeah, you get the guys who come up and they're like, "This is my daughter's birthday. This is my mother's maiden name." In sheets, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like <laughs> yeah, fucking prints off. Yeah, <laughs> <real>. <laughs> oh. And this girl is yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess encore. Do you remember when you could get a subway party sub? They still sell p- subway party subs. A real one. Okay, so what's like, a real one? There was a the six foot long sub. It's a six giant foot fucking big piece of bread. But like, yeah, like yeah. nice, dude. A uh, little, little bit of an off tangent. Uh, when I worked at, I also worked at Walmart for like nice. four years, and that used to be like the reward when we would do anything good. Subway, but it would be like this six foot long party sub that they just leave in the lunchroom all day. So you'd have to get it within the first hour, or you're gonna be fucking sick. Yeah, sweaty baloney. <laughs> yeah, just like room temperature fucking sandwich Holy meat. Holy fuck! All day in the lunchroom, but like, what about um? So I, I just I, I fucking love Walmart for that multi-billion dollar company. Here's some fucking five dollar eight longs. Um. At least they balled out and got the party set. Yeah, really. I mean, I mean, but like they could have uh, went with the platter, but they they treated us right with the sub. They got you. They got us. The the big announcement is that Subway is going back to or is going to be not using pre sliced meat anymore. So that means like those the pre packs of like if you get yeah. the assorted sub, it's like a wrapped up thing of uh, ham, bologna, whatever. Yeah. Now they're going to be slicing it off the fucking. Which I think is such a a great market move. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah good because idea. The sandwich market right now. You know who yeah, but think of those is? sandwich artists who are like, "What the fuck?" Yo, they literally the only reason they did this is because they installed that tip option in the subway thing. Shit, yeah. And no one tips. Nobody. I never tip at subway. You know where I used to work? Subway. No. Oh fuck! I got a great subway story. Um, but where I worked was, um, Quiznos. So I was like Gucci Dude, Subway. Yeah. You were the fancy Subway. Oh, I worked Would at- you guys get in fights with the Subway people? <sighs> Would they be like after work, go talk shit? No, to- you know, they, they, there was a sign of respect because the meat, the meats, the meat spoke. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like so spoke, they they played the higher ground. They didn't even talk shit. They were like No, they were We they, respect Subway. Yeah, they, They're a good establishment. They fell in line. Yeah. When we come around, yeah. we had this brand new option of like dipping the meat in yeah, sauce. You had a juice with the fucking Oh, juice. Dude, revolutionary in the sub game. So I worked uh, and I worked there in uh college. Yeah. So I I what I would do is I I all my buddies like I had a group of about I think let's just say the numbers four of us got to really benefit from my job at um you hooked all the boys up with subs but not with just any i would like make fuck it and i i mean come get me i would fucking make sandwiches that Dude, were like i used to chug chocolate milks in the back of walmart come get me fucking like monolithic sandwiches yeah. like like the tom green beef. bit where he's like oh, more lettuce more more, more yeah more more, more. yeah 
unbelievable. And yeah. like all meat and cheese and yeah. barbecue sauce and then oat. Dude, I was the slayer of. You were like, I had a buddy that worked at McDonald's, and every time we'd go, he'd he, he'd see us come in, and he'd like, we'd be like, can we get Mac sauce? And you'd open your burger, and it would be Just, like a Big Mac. Like he'd make you whatever. Oh. He, he'd fuck whatever you wanted. Oh. I had Big Macs with McChicken hamburgers nice. and jalapeno sauce. I like. Amazing that's shit. That's a friend dude. you want. That's you a friend you want. You want to have one of your buddies work at a fast yeah, food. Yeah, we, we got to go just... befriend more fast Fuck. food employees, dude. We need like more 17, 18 year old <laughs> yeah. friends. Yeah, yeah, we have to go. Uh, we're scouring high schools and they're like, you're not allowed to be Where do you work? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you were at McDonald's? Like, we're going to have to ask you to leave the property. You want to be friends? You go to the just the McDonald's and ask to be friends with them. You're in cuffs. You're like, I just wanted a McChicken oh. with. <laughs> As a Big Mac. Please. Please. I just wanted custom sandwiches for free. Custom sandwiches for a low cost. Fuck. Yeah, because now they charge you with fucking 50 cents to get brutal. extra mac sauce and it's shit. Brutal. Dude, Big McDonald's is the price of a restaurant at this point. It's like, fucked. I, I love it, but it's fucked. Still eating there. Yeah. I'm a supporter. I still support it. And I, still I just can't say there. fucking no. I, oh, they got me. It's like... They got me, dude. Fuck. They got me. Oh, man. What a... Um, By the way, pivotal. iconic scene in Total Recall. This is... Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I went real ham with that one. Oh. I'm glad we got that out of the way, though. Um, respect to Subway. Um, local news. Uh, back home. Yep. Um, Johnny Symbolman Wilson passes away. <laughs> That's it's. I mean, he did play the symbols. He was a Johnny Symbolman. <laughs> Rest in peace, Johnny Symbolman. Hey, and, uh, if you knew Johnny Symbolman, cheers to Johnny Symbolman. Hey. Now, uh, who who the fuck is Johnny Symbolman? <laughs> Swear to God, I just I looked up my local hometown newspaper, and that guy was dead. And uh, is it literally Johnny, Johnny Symbol Man <laughs> yeah. Wilson? Dude, the guy's a fucking legend. <laughs> is he? Do you know who he is? No idea. <laughs> yeah, okay, so he's a legend of some. No, but I mean, obviously. I feel like if we say it, and then everyone's coming at you, like, you don't know Symbol Man? Like, when we die, are they going to call us fucking Luke fucking Comedy Man? Funny Man? Funny Man fucking Bond. Patrick Funny Man Hellier? Yeah, why do you need the middle part in your obituary? Like, why couldn't they just put your actual name and then leave it at that? Yeah, like it's like they they felt you needed the addition of symbol man in your name, so people would be like, oh yeah, that's symbol man. Like they couldn't just be like, what, what what's his name? Johnny Wilson passed away, and people would be like, oh yeah, Johnny Wilson symbol man. Like they had to put the symbol man in between it for people to put two and two together, which I feel like if you have to do that, you, I don't know. I don't want to disrespect the dead. I hope I hope the man is. Absolutely slamming cymbals together for Jesus's orchestra up there. I hope he's absolutely just causing a ruckus in the back. I hope he's scaring people from their nice orchestra slumbers with his giant cymbals up in heaven. Yeah, just hitting the angels with a big old whoosh. Johnny Cymbalman. One Cymbalman. more. One more. One more. Wait, we should do this. We should do this. Yeah, hold on. To Symbolman. To Symbolman. Um, I have a gun safe over there, as you can see. Yes. You know what I have in it? What? Guns? No, I have a tactical flashlight. <laughs> I don't have a gun. I just have a tactic tack flashlight. Well, well, how did you acquire a gun safe before? Like, well, how did what came first, the tactical flashlight or the gun safe? The, definitely the flashlight. The flashlight. Okay. But I, I had the gun safe just sit. I mean, because I. I mean, uh, I, I, I just, I went and got my license to have a gun and all that stuff. And I never, I was like, fuck, I could get out hunting, but then you get busy and you yeah. don't fucking do it or I'm going to go shoot. Yeah. Or, so I had full intent of getting one and I got it from a buddy at work and it was just there like with the door open. looking. At you got me. the gun safe before you got guns. Smart. Right. Smart man. So I'm ready. Yep. You get the tank before you get the lizard. Like. That's right. You're prepped. Yeah. Um. But it was open up, and it was just looking at me barren. And I have a sweet, like, um, I call it a tactical flashlight. Mm -hmm. So I put it in there. 
Yeah, why not? It's uh, you need a spot to hold it. It's fucking action packed. See, they're in a t- like a temple now. Yeah, they're a good call. I uh, I think it would be hilarious. So, robber breaks into your house. You got the flex that so you can be like. I have a gun safe. Don't make me go down. Don't there. make me go into my gun safe. And then, like, he's like, tests you. <laughs> I can get him with a strobe off. Yeah, you'd be like, this is actually a pipe bomb. Oh. Yeah. You hope he has epilepsy. And, like, yeah. You just catch it. See ya. Good night. Good night. So, yeah, I have a, a, a gun safe story. You just told every person that you don't have a gun in you. So, I mean, robbers now may target. Yeah, robbers aren't listening to us yet. Yeah, that's true. Maybe he, but now that maybe it's a joke. It and, is a uh, joke. Maybe fucking come at me. He's got a bunch of guns. I don't have a gun, but I got a... Uh, a cat. You got an over affection cat. With herpes. With herpes. So. Don't give it to you. And we were lying at the start. Cat herpes is transmissible. Is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. It is. Oh, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, no, for it this, is. For it this is. reason, it, it is. is. It is. 100%. So, robbers, stay away. Um, I don't know if I've, I, 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 I pulled up quite a few stories and the one is, oh, I did want to talk about this. Um, yes, yes. Uh, couple down in the States. Yeah. Get up airport. They're yeah. flying somewhere yeah. and then they realize that they have to buy a ticket for their baby. Yeah. They literally just left the kid. <laughs> At the fucking flight, like at the airport, and it's true. De- I'm dead serious. Literally, Dude, they probably thought they were being like, stick it to the man. Yeah, you take care of it. You think you're gonna, oh, yeah? Well, we're just gonna leave it with you. I feel like if I left uh, me and Christy go <laughs> out, go to like Dominican, you leave him with the cat. What do you mean, we gotta pay for him? What do you What do you mean? I well, I'm going some... on this trip. What you think he's my kid or something? I'm not letting him ruin this for me. Yeah, me and my wife are gonna fuck in the Dominican. Okay. <laughs> See ya, Dougie. Uh, Dude, you'll be like, give him a Starbucks gift card. <laughs> you think they just roll them? Yeah, they just rolled them around to all the restaurants and they just fed the kid like he... soft pretzels, gravies, and, and fries. Yeah, like... yeah. What is it? Oh, just raised? The, like some like employee from the airport takes that poor kid home and yeah. Like, Raises him as their own. No, like, great. Now he's in a great spot. I was going to say, it's almost the start to, like, a really good story in the future. Like, it's going to be a Netflix documentary someday. It's a Tom someday. Hanks movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were raised by an air, like, an airport, what, what flight attendant? Or something. Yeah, yeah and, and you never know. And then when you're, like, 18, you discover your true... You get, like, an inheritance. Yeah, Life in the Air or Life yeah. on the Ground. That's the name of the movie would be called. Life on the Ground? Life on the Ground, because the baby yeah. be raised basically on flights yeah. going everywhere and then so like life in the air it'd be a story of this like baby growing up and like because he's been everywhere he's super cultured yeah which makes him a very cool person oh and life on the ground like he's grounded yeah, yeah. yes okay Man, we just made a fucking Netflix Dude, movie we just made a le- we just made a movie right there right yeah ground, life on the ground yeah raised by an air a, a humble copyright if anyone yep. fucks with that storyline yeah because well, people are like how are you so cultured you don't have any money my parents like, left you, me your parents left you and you get these discount flights with your mom and maybe you help her out every once in a while right you're in the back Dude. making tea and coffee it's, for her so her day's yeah. not as rough like been everywhere yeah what do you think about this movie it's what? called we're a movie we, we made up called life on the ground and it's about a so there's a story in the states a couple abandons their child at the check-in for their flight because they, they to find charge out them full price for the child. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. they found out they're going to charge them for the child. So he's left the kid. How old? Baby. baby. Just left the baby. Little baby. At the counter. So then, but the movie is, this is the movie part, where uh, the baby's then raised by stewardess, and because it's such a well-traveled oh, baby... Boy. Um, it becomes like a really cool person, and the movie's called Life on the Ground. Yeah, like the. I mean, What's your opinion on that? I mean, I support you. It's probably a good movie then. Yeah, I mean that's an amazing movie. Sounds like it's gonna be a great movie. Yeah, it sounds like I feel like I support you means invest every penny we have into writing this script. 
until it is made. Right? Possibly, yeah. Okay, we got the confirmation. She watches the Kardashians, so. Oh. No, I don't. Oh. Sorry, sorry. So what if we add in that the baby has a huge... Yeah, I get to BBL. <laughs> what, what, yeah, what's BBL? It's a Brazilian butt lift. Yes. And the the mom flies her to Brazil in one of in part of the movie, and she just gets a Huge, fat, juicy fat. ass. Fucking the old fucking nut crusher. Yeah, so she's a humble, well traveled girl with just a huge BBL. Do the parents reunite? No, gone. No, right? I don't know. Maybe later It'd be in cool life. If their plane crashed. Oh, and they die. Yeah. So that's why the flight attendant has to mar- has to raise, yeah. to marry the baby, raise the baby. Flight sixty four. I made a. And then like the the parents are like, Whoosh. yeah, and and it, and they go, was there any bags left behind? And then they just hear, Wah. yeah, yeah. Wah. oh man, yeah, dude. Haunting script. Very haunting. Haunting. We just turned this like beautiful inspirational movie into like a Batman. Like Right? Dude. Uh, what man. if that what if that's the new Batman? The parents are, it's plausible. It's plausible. It's more of a Tarzan story though, right? <laughs> yeah. Like because Tarzan's parents died on a boat or a plane or I don't know if they explain how Tarzan's boat and plane. I don't know if do they explain that in the Tarzan Disney movie? Not really. I was going to say, I thought well, he no, was just in the jungle. The, there's the plane that's crashed in the fucking uh, trees. Uh, that's where they're living. In reality. That's where the tiger comes it, and kills his parents. Yeah, true. Okay. That's it, the Phil Collins uh, Tarzan. Version. Yeah, yeah. Don't, 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 don't. Yeah. But then I've also seen uh, Washed Ashore. But then I've also seen. Because there's multiple Tarzans. I think Shere Khan kills his parents. And then the wolves come and raise. Uh, that's the one with the brown uh, Tarzan. Yeah, like the yeah, yeah, Brown kid. You got like four different Tarzans. Uh, wait, in no, the that's pocket. Mowgli. I'm thinking of the Jungle Book. <laughs> it's like the same fucking movie. It is the same movie. It is the same movie. A hundred percent. It's a kid getting raised by forest creatures. Fuck. Yeah, I gotta piss too. God damn it. I haven't pissed yet. Yeah, you've done really well. I'm already working on a fucking tertiary piss. So you're working on a shit. Working on a. <laughs> oh, you're working on a shit. Maybe. We're having. Uh... We can edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> Just cut it when I go to grab it. And, and then you in your hand. <sighs> wow! It somehow he opened it and caught it at the same time. Crazy. Flawless catch. Yeah, and then I'm going to put the drop in after <laughs> yeah. we say that. Yeah, Flawless no, catch. That's good. That'd be sweet. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. If you want to sign yeah. off. Yeah. Uh, uh, I guess it's that time of the evening where um, we say goodnight and thanks for sticking around and uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Uh, my name is Patrick. Yeah. My name is Luke. Cheers to Simple Man. Simple Man. Simple Man. Leonard Skinner, baby. (laughs) Cheers.